Good morning, everybody. I know I probably won't have any, any views live this morning because you're all getting ready to go to church. Um, but I'm going to share this anyway because God told me something this morning while I was in communion. And whenever God gives me a revelation, the first thing I have to do is run to Facebook and share it. Uh, because revelation is really exciting when you share it with other people. So, I figured I would share this while it's fresh in my mind and exciting. Well, I was taking communion this morning. <clears throat> Sorry. And while I was taking communion, um, there's a little prayer book that I've written that uh, changes constantly. That I write my confessions, decrees, in, and meditations, what I want to study about the Word of God. And as I was doing that, I was praying and taking communion. <clears throat> and you know I'm a hockey player. So, as a hockey player... <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't bring any water out here. As a hockey player, um, I'm brand new at it. And so I've been confessing that I have the skill to play hockey. And God showed me... Uh, let me just kind of start in Daniel 117. It says that he is giving uh, skill, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in all. And then it goes on to say visions and dreams. And also in Exodus thirty five thirty one it says that he has filled me with the spirit of that he has filled the people with the spirit of God in all wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and manner of workmanship. Well <clears throat> excuse me. That's the old covenant. So if the old covenant has that, we have that too and better. So God was showing me and reminding me that whatever you choose to do, whatever you set your hands to do prospers, but you also have skill, knowledge and and wisdom and understanding in it and I'm going to go over God versus little gods in a second which is part of what he is what he actually showed me but he gave me these pre-scriptures to help you to understand and um, for me to focus on and in <clears throat> these two scriptures it shows that the Spirit of God comes with vi uh, understanding knowledge wisdom and skill in all manner of of visions and dreams and understanding and skill okay so if you want skill if you want to change a career and want skill in it or if you want to change jobs and have skill in it or open your own business or have a hobby and have skill or understanding going to the courts of heaven <clears throat> and having skill and wisdom you can take a hold of these things and transform your life just to give you a little back background as far as hockey goes I haven't skated uh, I, I was on a pond when I was a kid to like maybe 21 years old uh, skating I didn't even know how to stop and then 12 weeks ago like my testimony says my husband and me went on a date ice skating and he said hey I want to get back into a hockey skating and I said I don't want to watch I want to do it so we got the equipment and I started and I practice every day and it's been pulling my weight off and making me feel awesome but I claim that scripture for skating because I want to have skill, wisdom, and knowledge for ice skating to, to play ice hockey safely and fun. And you can claim that for any skill or thing you want to learn. You can claim that scripture. And this is what God showed me. Um, first of all, he said that in the New Testament, uh, Corinthians 6.16, it says that we are one spirit with the Lord. And in 1 Peter 1.4, it says um, we are partakers of his divine nature. And 1 John 2, 20 through and 27, it says, You have the anointing and know all things. So, right there, that is telling me <clears throat> that because I have the anointing and know all things, I'm one with the Spirit of God. I have it, partakers of His divine nature. And all those scriptures I just quoted in the Old Testament shows me that I can pull from inside my spirit all the knowledge that I need to do what it is I want to do, like ice hockey safely. Or learn the scriptures, how to go to court of heavens, or, or seeing angels, or um, uh, understanding how angels minister to us, or whatever. Uh, new job, start your own business. Um, that is showing me that I have that ability in me. That those are scriptures that I can claim. That I know all things. I know how to do this new skill, this new uh, hobby I've taken up because of these scriptures. But this is what God really showed me that was really excited. And don't freak out about this. Some, some people might freak out. The Word of God says in um, Psalms 82, 5, 7, and then Jesus quotes it again in John 10, 10. He says, does it not say in your scripture, scriptures that you are 
gods, little g gods, over rulers of the earth under God. Um, and it also says that we have this, the, we are partakers of the divine nature of God. Well, do you not think that God knows how to do whatever skill you're training for, whatever new job you want, new career, or open your own business? If you have the mind of Christ, what God said to me is, this is this is the revelation he said to me, and all this comes from this. He said to me, he said, Jesus came to earth as a man so that you could live on earth as a God. Isn't that awesome? That's what he said to me this morning when taking communion. It's a great exchange program. Jesus came to earth as a man so that you could live on earth as a little God ruler authority dominion over all the power of the enemy uh, to bring heaven on earth and the scripture is psalms 82 5 7 and john 10 34 that's what jesus said and what he said to me is that the reason jesus one of the reasons that jesus came to earth is that as a man so that we could live as god we are one with god we have his divine nature we have the mind of christ we are um in communion, we are co-union, co-laborers with Christ. As he is, so are we in this world. We are one spirit. I mean, it all connects. All the dots connect. And so when God said to me this morning when I was talking about, you know, I always want to have wisdom, knowledge, and discernment to help my authors, to promote my authors, to publish their books, and have the skills and the tools to to because now is the time that those authors have a message that's going to change the world and so i want to promote them i want to do it with excellence and that's uh, my business i make not only that but i make money with that and i make very little money because i charge three hundred dollars and most people charge a thousand to two thousand dollars for what i do and so i want to do it the best not only that i want to do my ice hockey uh, i love ice hockey it's a passion i believe god gave me that just like surfaced and so i want to do everything that i choose to do with skill wisdom knowledge and understanding because god's the one that taught the person who 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 is the head honcho and who started teaching people how to ice hockey well god's the one that taught him so why go to the teacher when i can go to the source so with everything that i do I want to do it the best that I can do it. And whatever I choose to do, I want to do the best that I can do it. And and right here, these scriptures are saying that we can do that. And when God said during my communion this morning that you that Jesus came to the earth as a man so that you could live on earth as a God, small g, can't do anything without our connection to God. Don't ever misquote me on that, please. Uh, I have enough, you're a false prophet stuff, so I don't need any more. But we have the mind of Christ. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we carry in our body the physical presence of God, the spiritual presence of God. We have the mind of Christ, so our thoughts. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, I should just think good things because I have the mind of Christ. No, they are not using the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ says you have skill, wisdom, knowledge, discernment, understanding in all things. Use it, confess it, decree it, take it. Okay? And we're partakers of his divine nature. What is his divine nature? His divine nature knows everything. Everybody thinks it's divine nature. Okay, I'm a good person. I know how not to sin. It's not just that. It's a relationship. God wants you to walk on this earth as though you own it because you do. He gave you the earth. All authority and dominion on this earth belongs to the Christian. And if there's sickness, disease, poverty, lack, tornadoes, war, it's our fault because we are not taking authority and dominion over those demonic spirits behind the people causing the situations so we have to walk as small g gods god said it i didn't okay <laughs> um and and so i was really excited this morning during communion i absolutely love communion because it's like taking god's dna uh through the uh symbols of the body and the blood because the word says that the life is in the uh, the life of the body is in the blood so when you take communion, you're taking the DNA of God, putting it inside your body, transforming your body into healing and wholeness and all the harvests that the body and the blood of Jesus paid for you to have. It's medicine, it's health, it's life um, in you. It's wisdom, it's knowledge, it's discernment. Um, I used to spend years meditating on the armor of God and have several books on that. And now God has me meditating and doing communion every day and, and getting revelation out of it. So anyway, so that's what I wanted to share with you, that Jesus came to earth as a man so that we could live on earth as small g gods. 
and <clears throat> have authority and dominion. And remember, we're all growing. We're all coming to this understanding. We're all learning how to uh, implement this, to experience this relationship. And it's all, if we don't have the connection to God, if we don't have that relationship, we aren't going to be able to rule because we aren't going to hear him. We have to have that connection to God. We have to be born again. We have to receive Jesus in our heart. Um, because if he's not in our heart, we're, we're dead. We, we have no life. We have no power. So we have to receive Jesus. And it's our connection to God and our relationship to God. And I tell you, the more pure you live, the more power you walk in. Because the devil has no open doors to hinder you. No open doors to cause your heart to feel condemned. And when your heart's condemned, you don't hear from God. That's why it's so important to repent. <clears throat> why it's so important not to sin. And if you do sin, we have an advocate, the Jesus, you know, the Father, because he, he, he took our sin nature away. And he doesn't want us to sin because those are, are things that um, uh, cause the devil to come in, get a foothold, cause us to feel guilty. And when we feel guilty, then we don't hear from God uh, because our ears are not open. Not because God's not communicating, because he always is, but because we're not hearing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what I wanted to share with you today. If this has been a blessing, share it with your social media site. If you have a book in your heart or you know somebody who's written a book, especially Christians, but the wealth of the wicked is laid up for me too. So I do non, I do secular books also. Um, but if you know an author that wants to get their book published, have them check out my website, robinbremer.net. Um, I charge $300 and I'll take them within 30 days and $300 to a published author. If you know a Christian that already has a book, I've been able to take about six authors now up to number one spot in one day, which says that they can legally say they're a best-selling author in their um, um, category and gives them more credibility and promotes their book into higher levels of uh, more people seeing it. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Remember to share this if it's been a blessing to you. Share it in your groups and social media sites, website, Facebook, Google+, whatever. And have a blessed Sunday. We'll talk to you later. And remember to take communion. It's so much fun. So much revelation comes from it. And it's so deep and so powerful. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.